It seems that technological wonders will never cease. As years progress, more and more advancements in tech are introduced into the market. Our topic for today is one such advancement. You've heard of 1G, 2G, 3G, and 4G. Now get ready for 5G. 5G is a fifth generation mobile network, more advanced form of its predecessors. It is designed to connect almost every device and every machine together to make connectivity and communication more seamless. It has been in the works for nearly a decade, but it seems that within the next few years to come, 5G will finally turn into a reality. It's being implemented in various cities across the globe, and it could change the way we stay connected and get connected. What can 5G do, and what are its pros and cons? Well, that's exactly what we're going to be talking about in this video, so sit back and relax as we dive deep into the world of 5G. This is New Technology Today, bringing you the hottest tech innovations straight to your screen. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. And of course, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to keep yourself up to date. So what is 5G? Well, as I've said, it's a fifth generation of mobile networking. Right now, the most prevalent form of mobile data is 4G, and it allows mobile phones to connect to the internet. 5G is a more advanced form of that, as it is the latest iteration of cellular technology, connecting people and machines together. It's supposed to allow information and data to transfer really, really quickly, as high as 20 gigabits per second. With 5G, it is expected that the days where video calls over the internet would be choppy or it would take hours to download a file onto your mobile device are gone. 5G aims to cut down your waiting time to minutes or even seconds. 5G can also automate a lot of things you do over the internet. 5G works like this. The wireless networks are composed of cell sites that are spread out and send data to one another through radio waves. 4G LTE definitely paved the way for creation of 5G, but unlike 4G's system that utilizes high power cell towers to transmit signals to one another over large amounts of space, 5G signals will be radiated through multiple small cell sites that will be attached to fixtures like electrical poles, walls, and building roofs. These cell sites would relatively be the size of a pizza box. Small cell sites will be able to foster high speeds for connectivity, and it would make connection much easier too. The use of such cells is necessary because the MM wave, or the millimeter wave spectrum, or the band of spectrum ranging from 30 to 300 gigahertz, can be impeded. Their downside is because of their size. They can only generate signals to be transmitted over a more limited amount of space, and they can be disrupted by weather conditions and trees or buildings. Once 5G is fully implemented, it is set to change the way society operates and functions. Smart cities, self-driving cars, telemedicine, AR and VR spaces, artificial intelligence and automated workspaces, the possibilities are endless. However, all forms of tech have both pros and cons. Let's take a closer look at the tip pros and cons of 5G technology. Let's start with the pros first. First off, with 5G technology around, you're sure to be able to download and stream content within seconds. Want to watch a new episode of your favorite TV show? No problem. You'll get to do so almost instantly. You need to download a big document for work? You no longer need to spend hours and eat up so much of your time finishing your downloads. You will also no longer encounter that spinning circle that appears in the middle of the video when it is buffering. No, not you! What, why are you angry at the lollipop? buffering will no longer be a problem. Secondly, there will be less congestion for cell towers. Today's 4G LTE technology may be pretty strong, but it still slows down by a lot when there are a lot of people who are using it. The towers become congested, and they are unable to function as well as they are supposed to. 5G hopes to eliminate this sort of congestion and allow people to connect more easily. People will no longer have a hard time loading their social applications, sending and receiving their emails, surfing the internet, and doing basically whatever they want on the internet. There will be more bandwidth available to all users, and this will allow people to make better use of their gadgets. Another pro for 5G is a whole new slew of technological advancements. With increased speed and capacity, all sorts of spaces will be smarter. Like I said a while ago, the possibilities are endless. We now have smartphones, smart cars, smart workplaces, and smart homes. Who knows what developers will be able to come up with next? 
Recently, Facebook launched the Project Aria Smart Glasses, which aims to collect information that will help in the development of AR glasses. 5G technology would definitely help empowering such glasses should they ever be fully developed. And now for the cons. We've talked a little bit earlier about how 5G cell sites will only be able to transmit signals over a short distance. 5G would need many cell sites to operate smoothly, and these sites cannot be blocked by buildings or trees because these would also affect their functionality. Bad weather conditions may also be an obstacle to 5G connectivity. It would also mean that a lot of spaces need to be equipped for 5G technology in order for it to be able to operate seamlessly. Secondly, the use of 5G systems may cause batteries to drain or heat up quickly. You may have noticed that your battery runs out faster when you're using your mobile data, and it heats up more than how it typically would. The heat is generated by CPU activity. In order for batteries to be able to cope with 5G, they need to be developed even further, and they need to be able to withstand the effect of 5G technology on batteries. With today's current battery power, phones may need to be charged multiple times a day when running a 5G system, which can be inconvenient. 5G may also need new mobile devices that are compatible with 5G technology. Making the switch between 4G and 5G is not as simple as going for a system update. It needs a particular kind of machinery. Another con of a 5G system is slow upload speeds. While 5G promises to cut down downloading speeds by a lot, faster upload speeds are harder to come by. It is uncommon to see an upload speed over 100 megabytes per second, which pales in comparison to download speeds. The ping speeds using 5G technology are also not as stellar as the promised download speeds. With all things considered, would you still go for 5G technology? Should it be implemented widely? Why or why not? Let me know what you think by commenting in the comment section down below. I'll be replying to all of you who comment within the first hour of me posting this video. If you found this video intriguing, you should definitely check out my other video on the Apple Watch Series 6. In the era of technology, we are surrounded by so many gadgets and gizmos designed to make our lives more convenient. Giant tech companies have made their fortunes providing us with goods and services that do just the trick. One such giant tech company, Apple, has been developing and producing all sorts of devices like the iPod, the iPhone, MacBooks, and most recently, the Apple Smart Watch series, over the past few years. The Apple Smart Watch comes as part of Apple's wearable products, and it is a series because since its creation, development, and launch to the public back in 2015, a new and improved version comes out each year. This year, we've been graced with the Apple Watch Series 6. In this video, we're going to be diving into the newest addition to the Apple Watch series. What can it do? What makes it so different from its predecessors? Is it better? Stronger? We're going to be tracking all that and more on the Apple Watch Series 6. Stay connected, stay up to date.